Hey guys, I have two topics for you today. The first of them is a book review of the formula, The Universal Laws of Success from Laszlo Albert Borobashi. If you're looking for a summary of the book, well, keep looking. In fact, I will speak very little about the content itself. There was a very big hype around this book, so I thought I would give it a try. The author himself, is a well-recognized researcher in network science, so I hope I'm not spoiling too much, but he and his team approaches success from a network scientist's point of view. Well, what a surprise, isn't it? I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, and as I read it in ebook format, I will not. I wanted to casually throw it away, but I, I will not do that. Anyway, the book itself is not too long, not too short. It's just the right amount to absorb. In print, it would be probably between 250, 300 pages. I didn't look it up, but it felt like that. Uh, so I think it's very typical for its genre. And here comes a question. Who is this book really for? Well, definitely not for those who are looking for a self-help book to live a much happier, much richer, much more successful life. First, it's not about that undefinable success that we vaguely understand or misunderstand in everyday conversations. In fact, success in this book is very tightly defined as a measurable unit of different human activities, let it be in sports, in arts, in scientific career, and, and other areas of life. Borobashi also talks about the difficulties of measuring success and isolating it from other factors such as uh, performance and he's also talking about how important it is to focus strictly on these definitions. This is what you should expect from the book and this is good as it is. It's very hard if not impossible to do accurate scientific work on very broadly defined fuzzy subjects and this book is a collection of work published by Borobashi and his network scientist co-workers throughout the years. All of which are arranged around the concept of success in this book and, and success is, is such a good catchphrase, isn't it? The style of the book is very captivating. The examples and stories are very easy to follow, even though they focused many times on areas that I have absolutely no idea about, like golf tournaments, but I, I didn't lose focus at all. It's, it's very well written. I would say the book keeps a very good balance between popularizing a subject and remaining scientifically accurate. And this is a great job considering what a complex field this book is dealing with. In fact, many parts of the book caught my attention so much that I even printed out the original research papers because I, I wanted to get a deeper insight. Well, sorry, trees, I, I cannot really write on the screen and I like to scribble around the articles. So um, yeah, I know it's not very environment friendly, but, but I don't print too much, okay? So do I recommend this book? Absolutely. In fact, if I should give it a score, it would be somewhere around seven and a half, maybe even eight out of 10. <sighs> Why not full score? Well, while I was reading the book, I constantly had this feeling that this book was not written. It was meticulously designed just to prove its main concept. And at this point, I can't really separate the book itself from the air around it. And the book is on success. So I had this feeling that it was planned to be a bestseller. Or as a friend of mine put it, he felt that this book was, a, was just a giant balloon. And uh, I don't completely agree with him. Maybe it was inflated. Maybe it, it, it is really just a balloon. But uh, if you compare it to other similar books, uh, those are balloons filled with air, but this one is filled with, uh, I don't know, sulfur hexafluoride. It's, it's much heavier, okay? It's, uh, it's a very well-written book and uh, it has content and it definitely has scientific background. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and also, this book describes what techniques scientists use during their research to discover what contributes to success and what doesn't. So they apply different tricks 
to music websites to affect uh, music download. They interfered with crowdfunding projects and even on GitHub. So after this, I'm not sure if I see five stars next to this book, if it's a result of sock puppeting, but even if it is so, I think it is justified. Uh, so I have ambiguous feelings about this book and the air around it, but uh, but I think I think it's a great book after all. I can highly recommend this book to you guys if you are interested in science popularization, uh, especially in network science. Um, if you want to dig deeper, I will also put a link under this video to Borobash's own website so you can see his and their other publications and, uh, and yeah, you can have a deeper insight. And you can also see projects that were built around their research work. For example, the Twitter Q Factor project shows how talented you are to turn your ideas into influential tweets. And when I checked my Twitter, it turned out that I, I really suck at this. And this, and this makes me sad. So maybe I should reduce the score for the book. Or you can just retweet my tweets more often so my Q factor goes higher. No, you don't need to do that. My Twitter is only for my random thoughts. I, I don't have any particular plan around it, so, so it's fine. But you can share this video with whoever you think would be interested in and I would appreciate that. And if you happen to be Hungarian, I will have a similar review on my Hungarian channel, so you can check it out as well, because there you can also win a copy of the Hungarian translation. Um, so see you there soon. I will upload that video within a few days. But yeah, so this was it about the book review, and now I want to show you something else. <laughs> place is quite a mess like this area behind me but I think I can clean it out eventually I don't have to do it from one day to the other I have plenty of time this land now is mine just look at this handsome little shed here I haven't been inside uh, Maybe in the next video I will show you what's inside, but I don't have the keys on me yet. So, we will see. There are plenty of things to discover. So this is it, this is what I wanted to show you. No, not these shrubs here, but the entire land. Now I own it, I just bought it two months ago and this was the first day I could come out. When the snow is gone, I don't have more work in the weekend. So I can come out here from now on very frequently and start to cultivate this garden. It's fairly large, it's uh, 2400 square meters, so it's not small at all, but, uh, but I don't have to cultivate it all at once. I have a degree in horticultural sciences. In fact, technically speaking, I'm a PhD in horticultural sciences, Although I drifted away from this field for uh, the last 12 years, I've been working in science communication. Uh, but I always wanted to have a garden. All right, come here, Laika. That's my dog. That's my little dog over there. Anyway, I want to make some experiments here. I want to try different things on this land. More related to horticultural sciences, mostly biology, physics, chemistry, and everything in this complex field. So, um, so yeah, we will see. I cannot promise I will have a video next week, but I will try my best. Okay, see ya. Ouch. Ah, f rose bush.